another video about integrating the Helix with OnSong. Uh, this time I'm just going to demonstrate how to have OnSong send BPM to the Helix uh, so it can lock in. Notice the Helix is uh, flashing red or orange or whatever that color is, which means that it's not receiving external clock. Um, so there's a couple of things for this. First, in the global settings, I'm running the iPad with the Apple Camera Connector Kit and the USB cable to the Helix. So in global settings, go to MIDI tempo, and on the first page is receive MIDI clock. Uh, so I'm going to change that to USB. So now it will receive messages over USB. Still flashing red uh, in on song. Go to settings, and then settings. And then MIDI enabled needs to be clicked, um, and the MIDI clock needs to be clicked. I'm not sure if virtual MIDI needs to or not. Uh, I have it turned on. Um, it doesn't seem to do any harm to have it on. Uh, it basically creates a virtual MIDI port for software applications so that OnSong could talk to other software on the iPad to send um, global clock into it. I don't know if that needs to be on for the USB out, but I have it on. Uh, all right, so once that's on, you bring up your song. Um, oh, come to the altar. This is tempo 140. Um, so you go to this little pencil icon. And here's where you can edit uh, the song. Um, there's a little eye here. If you touch that, it brings up the metadata. And here you get metadata and tempo is what we want. So touch tempo. Um, and here's where you set the tempo. Now, I found the easiest way to do it is you, you touch and slide to the right until you get like close to what you're looking for. I was 140, right? So there's 133. Now, if you tap on the bottom, the number will go down by one. If you tap on the top, the number will go up by one. So you can slide to get it close and then just tap to get it exactly what you want. Now at this point, if I touch off on the side of the screen, this will go away, um, but it didn't save. And you'll know it's saved because you'll, you'll get a tempo line that will add there. So I'll show you. And then click done. And then touch the eye. Actually, you can see the tempo it added, but if I click off, it'll disappear. So you got to touch the eye, and now there's a tempo line there, and you know that the tempo is set on the song, and then push done. So it's now flashing blue, which means it's getting it from the Helix, and it's flashing at 140. Uh, if now I've also got it set up, you can see in my other video on when I change presets, uh, it changes charts. So I'll go to resurrecting, for example. All right, there's resurrecting and the, the uh, blue is still flashing, it's still getting tempo. If I go to Living Water, you can see the speed changed. So Living Water is uh, 140. Let's change it to 40, just to make it drastic. 41, okay. So now if I go to come to the altar, it was 140. And I just changed living water to 41. You can see it's picking it up. Now notice that when I did change to living water, that there wasn't a tempo message in the song. Like this, this wasn't here. But the helix was continuing to, to flash blue. So that's one thing to watch out for is when you set it up like this, um, whatever is in the song will be sent to the Helix, in this case, 41. Uh, but if you switch to a song that doesn't have a tempo message in it, OnSong will continue to send whatever the last tempo that was set out to the Helix. Um, here, I'll give an example. So let's go to, uh, oh, I have, yeah, okay. Let's go to, uh, resurrecting 
All right, let's see if I've got a tempo set up in this. Okay, I don't. See so yeah, how there's no tempo in there, right? All right, so if I bring up I'll Come to the Altar, which is 140, it's flashing pretty fast, and then I go to Resurrecting, it'll continue to flash at that 140. But if I go to Living Water, which I set as 41, and then go to Resurrecting, it'll continue to flash at 41. So if you go to a song that doesn't have a tempo line in the metadata, it, it, Ensemble will just continue to send out whatever tempo it last received, uh, or was sending, whatever the Helix last received, it'll just keep it going. I don't use this. Um, I leave receive MIDI clock off, and I set the uh, tempo inside the preset itself. Um, and I do that because we don't have a click, and when things drift, I need to retap it. And if you're receiving external BPM, you, you can't change it. Uh, as a matter of fact, when you're receiving external BPM, which one did I have it set up for? Alright, so when I'm receiving external BPM, if you touch the tap, it, you know, for tempo and BPM, it just says external. It doesn't even tell you what BPM it's receiving, and I, I find that kind of annoying. Um, I'd like to know what it's receiving, uh, but even if you did, you, you couldn't change it by retapping. So for those reasons, I don't use it. We don't have a click. Things drift. I want to be able to retap on the fly. If we had a click, I would, I would definitely use it. All right, that's it.